Item Number SCP-095 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-095 is to be placed in a standard polyethylene sleeve when not under scheduled research and stored in a standard locked filing cabinet to prevent damage or wear. High-resolution digital scans are available for any Level 1 and above personnel who wish to view SCP-095. Description SCP-095 appears to be a set of three moderately aged black and white comic books, printed in 1932. The front and rear covers are missing, and several pages have been rendered illegible due to water damage. It was found by Agent in a small antique shop in Denver, Colorado, and purchased for a small fee without incident. The owner of the shop had apparently not read the item past the publisher's date on the first page. Forensic inspections of SCP-095 have revealed it to be genuine, though completely unremarkable save for its content. It is printed on cheap pulp paper and inked with dyes common to other publications of its era. The publisher's stamp indicates it was produced by Future Funnies, a company operating out of the town of Purple Lake, Ohio. All research and inquiries thus far have shown both the company and the town to be completely non-existent. The comic itself is a pulp science fiction story entitled The Atomic Adventures of Ronnie Raygun, featuring a lead character bearing an unmistakable resemblance to former United States President Ronald Reagan. Each story opens with a large panel reading, In the far-fetched future world of the 1980s, only Ronnie Raygun can save the day. It appears to follow an episodic format, with one self-contained story per publication. The three stories are briefly described below. Ronnie vs. Space Admiral Carter This story pits Planetary Governor Ronnie Raygun and his sidekick, Space Major Herbert, against the titular Space Admiral Carter as they both vie for the position of Space Marshal. The events loosely follow the events of the 1980 presidential election. Space Assassin this story follows a character named Spaceman Hinkley as he prepares to assassinate Space Marshal Raygun. He manages to catch Raygun by surprise and wound him with his Devastator Ray before being subdued by Raygun's soldiers. The events obviously refer to the 1981 assassination attempt by John Hinkley Jr. Jungle Planet This story follows Raygun's attempts to create an army of robots on the jungle-covered planet of Nika in order to protect it from the evil Sand Bandits. Although Raygun is told that he will lose his command if he interferes with events on planet Nika, he sends his lieutenant, Space Colonel West, to secretly build a force under the cover of the jungle. When their plan is discovered, Space Colonel West publicly takes the blame and saves his superior. The storyline appears to be a simplified retelling of the Iran-Contra controversies of 1986. Possibly most interesting is the final page of each book, which advertises other stories published by future funnies. Investigation is underway to locate any surviving copies at once. The advertised stories are listed below. Space Major Herbert Assumes Command Starman Willy vs. The Space Succubus Globe Walker in Sneak Attack Barry Beetlejuice on Planet Afgar Diamond Donnie and Putting on the Ritz. Sky Marm Sarah of the Ice World. Flying Franken vs. Rocket Rush. Star Command Proton in a Losing Battle. The New Menace. Death to Mankind. Personal Log of Dr. Date. October 6th, 2004. I don't think I need to emphasize how important it is to recover any and all of the advertised stories immediately. The final two in particular. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-094, Miniature Event Horizon, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>